Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to Odin Sphere. We last left off, we finished up the story of the Puka Prince, where he managed to reveal who he was to Velvet, and she still wishes to be with him, despite the fact that he's a bunny, but they are still adamant on trying to end the curse of the Pukas. But for now, we are heading into the Land of the Fairies with, I believe, Mercedes. We've seen her a few times in the previous um, encounters, but we've not played her yet. And I think she's pretty much like the only character in the whole thing where you play as, and she doesn't have any romantic attachments to any of the characters. So let's see what happens here. We are entering Fairyland. Once upon a time in a starlit forest far, far away, fairies lived under the protection of a queen resembling flowers like a fleeting fantasy. Alright, Fairyland it is. Except that's a dwarf. Princess Mercedes, where have you been? You're quite persistent, aren't you, old man? Shh, be very, very quiet. Hi, Mercedes. Hi, Mama. Mother. Wherever are you off to? With my precious bow. Frog hunting. <laughs> yes, I see. It is necessary to exterminate those pests that eat the little fairies. Yes. But you should leave that task to the soldiers, dear. She wants to I fight. I just want to improve my skills with the bow, so I can join you on the battlefield. Aw. Mercedes, I cannot take you along when we battle the Demon Lord. Well, why not? No! Why not? Mercedes, you are young. An heir to the throne. You need to learn this. You mustn't be eager to go to war without even knowing why we are fighting. Hint, hint! So, why are we fighting? Yeah, why? We born from the forest cannot live without Fozons, our source of life. Hi, you're handsome. Melvin. Melvin? <laughs> Fozons are magic elements generated by nature. They are rare outside the forest. Melvin! Since we have collected them from around the world, we are gifted with prosperity. Melvin! The Demon Lord has declared war on us so that he may obtain our treasure. Is that what he wants? Our greatest treasure, the Cauldron, will give him enormous power. Okay. So, that's why he's attacking? Yes. <laughs> Mercedes, I shall entrust you with my precious bow. It will be your responsibility to protect the country while I am away. You're gonna die, yes, aren't mother. you? I understand. So... Melvin. I'll be off hunting now. Oh dear, I wonder if that child understood anything I told her. No. Tis a problem. She has no idea of her position and what is expected of her. And you do, Melvin? Melvin, <laughs> you are her cousin. Oh. She treats you as a brother. You're not gonna say who I think Please you are. Please help her become a good queen. Oh, thank God. I was hoping you were gonna say, let's get married. Because that as would be kind of creepy. I shall make it my duty to assist Princess Mercedes in any way possible. Can you change her name? Sorry, I can't take you serious with the name Melvin. <laughs> Alright, here we are. The Mercedes tutorial. She walks funny, by the way. Okay, X in midair to fly. Whee! Oh, I can just fly here. There we go. Easy peasy. And shoot. Yep, yep, ammo used to fire. Cannot fire when ammo has been depleted. Gotcha. When reload, it's displayed, press X squared to refill ammo. Here we go. Oh, okay, that's quicker than the other way. 
All right, where's the monsters then? Whoa, that did a lot of damage. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to click that button. Ow! Okay, okay, fair enough. And... there we are. So far, so good. Hers is a little bit different than the other ones. So this is gonna get some... Ta some this is gonna take some getting used to. What's this? Until a relatively short time ago, the fairies and unicorns were not a united country, but instead existed as a small tribe spread throughout the forest. Shortly after the fairy queen Elfaria gained control of the cauldron, the country of Ringford showed accelerated growth and established themselves as a military power. Ringford is now considered to be the equal of the other two great nations of Arion Ragnanaval in the north and Titania in the east. Cool. Nope, nope. Pick it up, Mercedes. That's a good girl. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. So I can just fly. Whee! Well, that makes things a little bit easier than I can just fly whenever. Oh. Yeah, I promise it takes longer to land. She also does kind of have a weird-ass walk about her. I'm just going to say it. But she does seem to have some improvements because she can permanently fly. And she can just reload really quickly. So that's a good tactic to have. Your Majesty, the Demon Lord has launched an assault. Our Thanks. soldiers have been pushed back, and some have deserted from the front line. Oh no. Our guardian dragon is having trouble dealing with Odin's witch. We have no choice but to retreat. Your Highness, please issue the command. Uh-oh. Oh. What an enormous cipher! You kidding? Hi. You're not gonna survive either. It's been a while, Alfaria. This is not gonna Last end well. Last time you were unusually <coughs> shrewd and managed to steal the cauldron away from me. Okay. Demon Lord Odin. You are beautiful as ever. With your puffy shoulders. Yes, I regret that I will have to break your perfect neck like stepping on a lily. I will not give you the cauldron. You will have to take it by force. You might want to fly away, lady. Just saying. You have wings. Yes, I cannot allow you to continue your violent and petty ways unpunished. Say what you will. Your attempts at deception have no effect on me. So you say. Oh boy. Observe this blue orb. Behold the might of the wicked eye, Baylor. It's nice. Queen, accept defeat. With this, I will become absolute ruler of the world. You didn't use it with me. Mourn the death of the fairy race. You fly away! Fly away! She didn't fly away, did she? Because we do, when we do find her with Gwendolyn, she, Mercedes is queen, so I have a feeling that uh, Mommy Dearest did not make it out alive. Princess, please compose yourself. Hi, Mom. You don't look very good. Mother! Oh, boy. To what I have to tell you, it is very important. Aww. Mercedes, you must not look down. Raise your head high and survey the path ahead. You are 
the next fairy queen. Ringford will soon be in danger. If the magical kettle, the cauldron, if it draws in all the bosons, our forest and our people cannot live. The land needs a leader. You will need to revive the country and get the cauldron back from the demon lord. If you respect my words, you will need to choose the path of royalty over revenge. Be a queen. Tis difficult to place such a burden on one so young, but I know you can do it. Mother believes in you. Mother! Tis my time to go, Mercedes. Oh, dearest Earth, take me. I go back to whence I came. And to the beloved heavens, I will give you my name. I am Elfaria. My true name is Fimble Vetter. This awful winter shall disappear with me. Oh, Very sad. Boy, right off the bat, jeez. This game gotten heavy yet? Oh, wow. I just got started and already it's like, whoa. Things got dark fast. Damn. Princess Mercedes. Oh, well, Queen Mercedes now. We have now. so many injured that we have run out of sick beds and medicine. Lovely. What shall we do? Well, um, uh, uh, This is uh, bad. Let us open the Southern Imperial Villa and house the wounded there. Sure! I shall notify our mages to increase healing potion production. Princess Mercedes, I hope this is adequate. Technically... Uh, oh, yes! Well, she's a little lost here. She's gonna have to rely on her cousin Melvin for help here. Princess Mercedes, we have so many inch. Okay, so... Oh, Oswald, what are you doing here? So you must be Melvin's Shadow Knight. Melvin. Pardon me. I'm not feeling well. Okay. Is this before or after she is wed to him? Or Gwendolyn, I mean. Uh, Knowing that the Demon Lord is on his way here makes me nervous. Do you think that girl can fulfill her duties as queen in these times of strife? I'm right here. Cousin Melvin is quite dependable. He ought to take up. I'm right here. You jackasses. That the demon lord is off. Your Majesty, I swear by my horn, I will fight to the end for Queen Elfaria. Thank you. Cool. Hi. You have a leaf on your hat. Your Majesty. I'm extremely unhappy. I can't tell. In the past, the former queen battled with the dwarves for the cauldron. Oh. When we were defeated, we left our forges and became Lilipats. Okay. Is that like Lilliput? But the dwarves who escaped the fairies joined forces with the demon lord and made more weapons to hurt us. Oh. Fun! So it's kind of a torture of on, on both sides. Hi! Well, well. Just let me know if there's anything you need. Yeah, I don't have anything at the moment, so you're just gonna have to get by. Alright, let's see. What's the, uh, the realm I have to go? Ah, uh, the deep forests of Elritz. That's probably a good idea. I do some training anyway. But yeah, I love how people are still calling her a princess, even though now she is a queen. Unless she has to get coronated first, I don't know. It has not been long since you lost your mother. Perhaps you need a vacation. I don't trust Melvin. But Melvin, I'm... Allow me to handle the governmental affairs. The people will be fine. I don't trust Are him. Are you suggesting that the Queen is a burden? Pretty much. Absolutely not. He just wants it for himself. Melvin, the 
the chief armorer would like to discuss something with you. Yeah. I'll see him immediately. Excuse me, I must be on my way. I don't trust Melvin. I have a feeling he's trying to take over. So he's controlling the armed forces as he wishes. Yeah, exactly. Just as Mother said, I cannot do anything. Queen Mercedes, please control yourself. There's something strange in the air here. Melvin is acting highly suspiciously. Agreed. His heart burns with ambition, and he seems to be making some kind of plan. Yeah, take it over. He's not showing anything on the surface, but we can't let this continue. Agreed. Let us speak with the sorcerer who served Queen Elfaria. Uh... The famous sorcerer Beldor, who enslaves a dragon and sees the netherworld. Tis better to have a dependable expert on our side. Okay. I doubt he will cause a rebellion within the land, but who can say? Yeah, that's what my thought is. If the country collapses after Queen Alfaria's death, the Demon Lord truly wins. True. I have heard that Beldor has retreated to a place in the forest. If Queen Mercedes should visit him in the forest, he should be honored to help. So I should just up and leave while my cousin's being a jackass? I don't know if I agree with that. But again, I guess sending minions would not help either. Okay, well. Wow, you guys jump high. do you have? Oh, I know that's, uh... Okay, you have piercing shot. That's all you have at the moment. Okay. This is definitely gonna get some getting used to. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. Having to go from Gwendolyn and Cornelius to her is gonna be interesting. This is gonna go interestingly. Turn around, lady. Jeez. Oh, I got the map at least. Actually, I don't have much to heal with, so I'm gonna have to be extra cautious here. Alright, let's see here. Oh good, there's a shop right over here. That should help me a little bit, even though I don't really have a lot of money. But a shop is always a good thing to find in this place, just saying. She doesn't run very far, so... Or very fast. Hey, cut it out! What? I'm an innocent bystander. I'm just a nice goblin. Just don't ask where my wares came from. <laughs> Isn't he lovely? Alright. Let me sell a few things. There we go. Uh, 
All right. Let's see here to buy. Let's see, buy a couple of those. Uh, can I get at least one cheese? Maybe not. I think I might be limited here. Ten. There we go. That should be good. Every little bit helps. Although I definitely need to use something to eat now. There we go. Alright. But yeah, this is definitely gonna get some getting used to with this girl. Because she's not quite like the other ones. Alright, let's see here. Let me see here on where things go. Let's see here. Wow, this place is quite busy. Alright, well, I'll do what I can. I promise that I... No, I promise nothing, really. I keep getting myself hit by those... Alright, quick heal. Heal, heal, heal. Homing even better. Although that did not go very well, obviously. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what I expected. Yeah, I don't think I have any more he Well, I have some healing, but not very much. It's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, drink that antidote here. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's see here. Is it over here? Yeah, the shop is over here. Cool. 
Uh, that's where the boss is over there. Yep, I guess I'll give that a shot, because I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't run very far. She always walking on her tippy toes. Wow, a fairy! I finally met a fairy. Don't put me in a bottle, please. Hey, listen, I'm running a shop here. Why not take a look? Sure, why not? I don't have much, so I'll have to sell you a few things. I'm gonna have to be super cautious here because I am not doing the greatest. Yeah. Well, at least I get a hot cross bun if I beat this boss here, but I have a feeling this is gonna end horribly. Okay, so far, whoa. Oh, crud, 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 crud. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm good. Oh, crud. a little dicey, I will admit, but hey, I managed to do it in one try. That's not bad. Granted, it is only the first level, but still. Alright, let's just, uh, Hang on, hang on. Where's my antidote? There we go. Nice. And a quick bite should help. There we go. Alright, now. This the way? Yeah, this is the way to the boss. Cool. Let's try this. See how badly I die this time. Into the forest lagoon. Am I gonna have to fight the dragon? I'm gonna have to fight a dragon, aren't I? Does Beldor really live here? Look! Uh, hi, Frog! Oh no! What should I do? Oh, what's going on here? You stupid frog! I dropped my mother's bow! Now, how is that my fault? You scared her! This pond is full of frogs. Oh no! I can't find it! The pond is deep in places. I could dive and look for it. Hmm. But if I help you, 
What can you do for me in return? There's always a catch. Well, I... I won't shoot any more frogs. I'm wasting my time here. Hey, wait! I know! I will grant just one wish for you. Will you please find my bow? Okay, it's a deal. What is his wish gonna be exactly? It's not gonna be to marry her, is it? What a greedy little frog. Yeah. He probably has some stupid, pointless wish anyway. You're, or maybe he's a prince. Princess Mercedes, what are you doing in this swamp? Hi. Perfect timing. I have been looking for you, my loyal sorcerer, Beldor. I have a request for you. I would like to ask for your assistance. <laughs> I have a dilemma. I am currently a faithful servant to King Melvin. Knew it! Melvin is not king. Make no mistake. I am queen. Knew it! No, he shall be the new king very soon. Now come, Belial. Uh, this little queen and make her disappear. Uh, Great. Uh, Thanks, dude. Is this what you lost? Hey! <laughs> little help? Run, little froggy, run! <laughs> or hop, I guess. I knew I was gonna be fighting that damn dragon again! Well, this one I think will be at least a little easier because it's the beginning of the fight and not the... Killed by a frog. Well, this is definitely gonna be a tough fight. I'll give you that much. Well, let's keep trying. Hopefully, this will be easier than with Cornelius, but. Ah! Oh no! 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 Don't you have something better to do than... Oh crud, he ate me! Ah ha! I guess I still can't dodge that very well. Curses. Stupid freaking dragon. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? I shot the wrong direction. Wow, this dragon is obnoxious. <laughs> no. Yeah, in your face, dragon. <laughs> Stupid freaking dragon. <laughs> Normally I like dragons, but these dragons are a pain in the butt. 
I cannot let you return. Please prepare yourself. What the? Oh. He, he's poisoned me. Yeah, you're in for it. will have to wait. What, you didn't bring any antidotes with you? Ran off, hey? Uh. You alright? Probably not. Is that a cipher? Yep. You're awful. My skills are ruined. Hey. Do, do you want to continue? I do not. Lower your weapon. Good. I must obey that sorcerer's commands. Yep. If only he were gone, I would be able to enjoy a moment of freedom. I'm sorry. Mm. I didn't know. And I... Are you showing compassion to a creature that threatened you? Yep. Kind-hearted young queen, listen to my warnings. The flames of rebellion are in the flower garden. I could tell. A mutiny has begun. Pretty much. It must be Melvin. You must act now. Otherwise, you cannot turn back. Great. Wait! What about your promise? You're just gonna follow me around until I get you your wish, pretty much, aren't you? Mother, what should I do? Good question, my dear. Because we have a rebellion on our hands by our dear cousin. Just goes to show you, you can't trust someone named Melvin. I don't know, I've never really met a Melvin in real life, so... yeah. <laughs> Curse you, Melvin! So now where do I go? Well, this is somewhat awkward, isn't it? But I'd say this is a good enough place to stop for now because something's crazy's about to happen and it ain't gonna be pretty. Who knows what's going to happen to poor little Mercedes in the next episode, but for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.